We want to multiply these two binomials together. The second example, we're going to have an extra number out front to see what happens. But if we're multiplying two binomials, the strategy we're going to use is FOIL. So we want to multiply what's in front together. So negative 3 drew that connecting one and negative 5a. These are both in front. So a negative times a negative is a positive. 3 multiplied by 5 is 15. And then a multiplied by a is a squared. And I have 15a squared. Okay, then we want to multiply what's on the outside. Negative 3a and negative 4 are on the outside. A negative times a negative is a positive. 3 times 4 is 12 times a. So I end up with 12a. Next, I want to multiply what's on the inside. The number 7 and negative 5a, those are the inner ones, the inside. So a positive times a negative is negative. 7 times 5 times a is minus 35a. Then finally, last times last, this one's on the end, 7. This one's on the end, negative 4. So positive times negative is negative, and 7 multiplied by 4 is 28. So I have minus 28. A tiny bit of simplifying here. These two are like terms. So if I have 12 a's minus 35 a's, that's going to give me negative 23 a's. So I'm bringing those two together to make negative 23a and then bring these ones down. Okay, then this next one looks really similar. But you'll notice I have an extra number out front. So I have this extra number out front. I'm really multiplying three separate things together. The negative 2 multiplied by x minus 7, multiplied by x plus 6. You can multiply in any order you want. I'm going to choose to multiply the x minus 7 times x plus 6. Then after I finish multiplying that using FOIL, I'm going to then multiply that answer by negative 2. So my focus right now is to just FOIL these two together. So if I multiply the front times the front, x multiplied by x is x squared. Then I'm going to multiply what's on the outside. So that's the x times the 6. So I have plus 6x. Then on the inside, that's negative 7 multiplied by x, which is negative 7x. And then finally, last times last, a negative times a positive is a negative, and six times seven is 42. So I have negative 42. Gonna go ahead and just simplify that before I worry about the negative two out front. And the six X minus seven X, those are like terms, so we can put those together. Six minus seven is negative one. So six X's minus seven X's is going to give me negative 1x. I'm going to bring down the negative 42, bring down the x squared. Then I just want to make sure I don't forget that originally all of this was multiplied by negative 2 out front. So I'm going to bring that negative 2 out front. And then finally, with this negative 2 out front, we're going to want to distribute the negative 2 through to each one. So negative 2 multiplied by x squared is negative 2x squared. Negative 2 multiplied by negative x. Negative times negative is positive, and then 2 times x is 2x, so plus 2x. And then negative 2 times negative 42, and negative times a negative is a positive, and 2 times 42 is 84.